In our last lesson, we have seen that there are two types of views, that is data dictionary views and dynamic performance views. Now here we have some of the basic views that you must know as a DBA. First we have some data dictionary views and later we have dynamic performance views. So once again, data dictionary views will give us the static information. For example, the number of users inside the database. Dynamic performance views will give us the dynamic information like how many users are currently connected inside the database. So the first data dictionary view that we have is DBA underscore tables. Now this view will give us the details of all the tables inside the database. Next, DBA underscore table spaces. This is the view which will give us all the details of table spaces inside the database. Next is DBA underscore users. Gives us information of all the users inside the database. DB underscore objects. All the objects inside the database. Now what are these objects? We not only have tables inside the database, there are other objects apart from table like materialized views, you have views, packages, trigger, function and lot more. So db underscore objects will list all the objects inside the database. Next is dba data files. All data files inside the database. dba temp files. All the temporary files inside the database. Next we have dynamic performance views. Now in this one you should, the first and the very important view which you use always in real time is v$ session. It will give you the details of currently connected users and the currently running sessions inside the database. Next is v$ database. It gets the details of database you are connected to. v$ instance mostly gives you details related to the instance. A v$ control file gives the details of the control files inside the database. Also we have v$ data file and v$ temp file. Now you might see you have some views in both data dictionary views and dynamic performance views. Next is v$ temp file. This will give you the details of all the temporary files. v$ log file details of all the log files inside the database and v$ SQL gives details of SQL statements running currently inside the memory. Now one point to mention why it is called as dynamic performance views because the information inside these views will be changing constantly. Like a user connected then you will see an entry inside v$ session. A user disconnects from the database then the entry will be removed from v$ session. So the information inside these views will be changing constantly or dynamically and that's why they are known as dynamic performance views. But when you compare the data dictionary views, these are static details like total number of users inside your database or total number of tables inside your database and so on. The information inside data dictionary views does not change very frequently until unless for example you add a user so an entry will be added inside dba underscore users. The same way if you create a table an entry will be added inside dba underscore tables. So these are some of the views as a dba you must know and as I said earlier while working with different lab activities you will encounter these views very frequently and also when you work in your real-time environment you might also learn some other views which will help you to execute your day-to-day -day activities.